Street TV family. Welcome back, Sabule XA, right here on Cape Town TV, the best entertainment show in the land. We are here to make sure that you are motivated. Must say, it feels so good to be back on your mama's television. Thank you so much for joining us. Let everybody know that we are here 4 to 5, Monday to Friday. If you'd like to be part of the show, remember you can become part of the conversation on Twitter at XA underscore live. Facebook, Facebook, Seth Manningham, Dasi Kaya, Pakwe XA live. And of course, on Instagram at XA underscore CTV. Or call us on 021 Send us an email. Excel at Cape Town TV .org. Right now, we're joined by someone who's doing great things in the community of Kualanga. You all know there's huge crime in the township, so it's very good to see Abanya Bandu who are doing great things to make sure Ukutu Abandwana are not on the streets after school. They're absolutely doing great things. Right now, we're joined by Umaka Bongwe, who is part of the Vusa Rugby Club. Umaka Bongwe, welcome to Excel. Oh, thank you very much, guys. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I'm very good, man. I'm very good. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk about the kind of work that you do. Let's talk about um, Vusa Rugby Club. What work do you guys do? And what made you establish this kind of club, Kualang? Um, yeah, so Vusa is a rugby and learning academy um, based in yeah. Kualanga, on ship here in Cape Town. So basically, we are a program that um, gives opportunities to the underprivileged um, kids to, to play sport and to be in an academic environment. Yeah. Um, so th th there was a greater need um, in the communities for people to, to give back. And giving back is um, to make sure that kids are, uh, are playing sports, are in a physical education, and they're doing academics such as maths, English, computer skills. So it's just giving back to, to the underprivileged people. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Um, you say it's just about giving back to the under, underprivileged children. What need did you see, Gualanga? What gap did you see, Gualanga, for you guys to come up with this amazing program that you have? Um, yeah, so so we saw an opportunity that uh, Gualanga, they, there's no structured um, rugby rugby team, um, even in the schools. Like the schools don't play any sports. Yeah. Um, and Gualanga, they, they've got five primary schools. So we saw the need to actually. Um, give opportunities to the kids to play rugby. So all those kids from those different private schools come to us at the Vusa Rugby Academy and then we teach them how to play rugby. And then once we've done that, um, on weekends they play against our top model schools, schools like they play against Bishops, they play against Sachs, they play against Wonderbush. So yeah. with, an, uh, with an opportunity to maybe in the future to actually get a bursary and attend one of those schools. Yeah. You know, Langa is, is, the, um, is the oldest black townships township in, in, in Cape Town, one would think a township like that has actually everything, like let's say sports, they have other um, um, rec recreational um, programs in their schools, but it's so sad to see that in 2020, when you actually, made, let's say when you started, there was literally, literally nothing in the schools of Walaga. Why did you guys choose e rugby? Because I know, I'm in mean, the township, we love soccer. Why did you choose to actually introduce e rugby to our schools? Yeah, so it, it right be um, in the in the modern era, it's the most growing team sports. Um, yeah. So everyone just wants involved playing rugby, and then obviously um, we we had been going now for over a decade, but now because rugby is such a growing sport in South Africa, as you would see when we won the World Cup, everyone just wants to be in a team and participate in rugby. So we chose rugby because it's the most growing sports and. Um, yeah. Rugby not only is a sport, but it teaches people and young kids ethos about how to live life, how to be responsible, how to be in a team environment. So rugby like that is actually quite um, uh, um, an easy sport to play as well, and it's very um, educational. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned that you, you also do academics and you also do recreational. Tell us a little bit about those two extended programs that you guys also have. Yeah, so we, we participate um, heavily in, in academics, as we all know that um, nowadays it's very hard for people to get jobs without a qualification. Yeah. So um, what we did, um, we, we complemented the, the rugby with the academics because we saw there was a greater need for kids to actually improve and excel in, in, in school. So uh, they don't get left behind focusing on the rugby and then forgetting about the academics. So there was a greater need for us to focus on academics and by us doing academics, we, we do English, um, we do maths, uh, we do computer skills like literature. So we just want to make sure that the kids are well equipped um, for life after rugby. Or if they don't want to go choose the rugby path, they yeah. can actually fall back. Listen, at VUSA, we did academics 
And um, yeah, so just to give them a better head start than anyone. Yeah. And then obviously the recreational stuff is uh, we do a lot of outings. Um, so if we play on Saturdays after that, we'll go to the beach or we'll go to the museum. Yeah. And yeah, just a lot of the kids who live in Langa, actually a lot of them have ne never left Langa before. So now when you take them to Table Mountain, when you take them yeah. to Museum Lake Beach, so it's a different ball game for them. Yeah, rugby is a very exciting sport. It's a very, I must say, um, it's, it's absolutely exciting. Every time I watch a rugby match, I feel very excited because there's so much happening in the field. Um, is there a requirement um, when it comes to the kids joining the club? Um, is there an age group that you guys focus on? Is it for both girls and boys? How does the selection of, of players work? Yeah, so like I said um, at the beginning of the interview that um, Langa has five um, primary schools. Yeah. So working with the Langa Township, it, it, it's open for everyone and anyone who wants to play rugby and wants to become um, in a team environment, in a team sport. So it's open to, to anyone. Um, the nice things about us, uh, us uh, we, we actually have girls as well who play in, the, in our league and some of those girls are, are way better than the guys. Yeah. So we've got girls, girls, girls is also growing in terms of rugby playing. And um, yeah, so we work with um, the juniors from under six to under 13. And yeah, so that's, that's our age group. And then when they get to under 14, then we team up with a rugby club called uh, BZB. So our kids go straight to Vusa um, from, to, to BZB. Yeah, um, you usually host tournaments and usually play against um, Model C um, teams or let's say other um, Model C schools. Why is it so important for you not to just stay within the borders of Ukwalanga, but to actually challenge yourself um, with Esnis Golo, who are, literally have all the resources that Esnis Golo don't have? Yeah, so that, 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 that's a, quite, a lot of, um, quite a lot of people ask me that question. Yeah. Is, um, why do we start something in the township and then for us to be better equipped, why do we have to go play against the Model C? The, the reality is that at the moment, the, the, the Model C schools are way higher than us up in terms of the educational sports and, and everything. So for us, for township kids to play against those schools, it just gives them a new perspective of life. They see that, listen, this is how our school facility is. You know, if you want to if you want to reach for your goals, like, you, you're only responsible for your own goals, you know? Yeah. So playing against bishops, you see the, the, the grass when you get to bishops, it, it, it's pure green, you know, there, there aren't any patches. And the, the lifestyle around it. So we want to give those kids an opportunity to also test themselves against the best at the moment. Yeah. Um, next to Langa, there are townships like Bonteville, um, there is Athlon on the other side, then there's Kukuletu, there's Nyanga, there's Kailicha. Uh, is there room for you guys extending to other townships uh, across, the, uh, across Cape Town? Oh yes, 100%, definitely. We actually, uh, we are based in Langa, but then obviously we, we also do have um, kids um, who, yeah. who don't live in Langa or who don't go to school in Langa, but are part of our organization. So we're not just only focused in Langa, we've got kids from Kukuletu, we've got kids from Kailicha that do come and participate in our program. But obviously, yes, in the future, we do want to start uh, a, a national Busa Rugby Academy that's going to be in the Eastern Cape, that's going to be in the Gauteng, that's going to be in Kailicha and all sorts, so that it can be a feeder to, to, to SA Rugby and kids can go through academic um, yeah. postponements through, through our academy. So yes, it's not only just um, roped here in Cape Town, it's just we want to make it national and big. Yeah. Um, quickly, before I let you go, um, I know in order for a club to be successful, um, this is a non-profit organization. You need things like, let's say, support system, such as financial support. Um, how do people get hold of you? How do people reach out for anyone who wants to maybe donate a little bit of something? It can be money, it can be their skill. How do they um, get in touch with you guys? Yeah, so we've got our, our social media page um, on Facebook. Uh, we Vusa Rugby and Learning Academy, and then on Twitter, um, uh, it's at Vusa Rugby Academy. So people can just drop us a message there. And uh, the nice thing is we've got a team that uh, manages our social media, uh, social media page. So um, we'll be quick to to respond to people. And yeah, so any help at the moment um, is um, is appreciated. People can donate clothes. People can donate food. Whatever people that they can think of, they can donate, and it's more than welcome at Vusa. 
Well, thank you so much, Mahabongo. Thank you. This was absolutely amazing. And you guys are doing great work, man. I mean, like, running a club is not an easy task. I mean, you do sports, you do recreation, and then you also um, do academics, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Good luck with everything. And um, hopefully, we're going to see that national club soon, right? Yes, definitely. That, that is the bigger picture. And guys, thank you very, very much for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Magabonga, who's part of Wuza Rugby Club, based Kualanga. But they have plans of extending. I wish and wish and hope that this absolutely grow. This is XA right here on Cape Town TV. We're taking a quick breather. More to come right here on XA, Channel 263, Kasebu, Yaunga, Indau, Sobuyangoku.